Hello everybody and welcome back to Christo's Cafe. I am the one Christo and today we're doing something a little bit different. I know I say we talk about cards and games and tech, but I don't actually talk a lot about technology that isn't related to streaming. But today we are. Today we're talking about these guys. These are the Pixel Buds. The reason why, and I'll give you a little backstory, is I've actually had a few people ask me about them specifically, both on my stream as well as via Twitter. I posted a picture when I finally received them, and I was I was really excited about it. And um, you know, they're they're great in a lot of ways, and yet I am still returning them. I actually got my RMA earlier today. So let me explain why. Now I'll give you some context as I am a super, super huge Pixel fan. I'm using the Pixel 4 XL right now. I have had every uh, Nexus phone since the Galaxy Nexus. I have a, I think I'm one of the few people that still uses the uh, convertible tablet, the Pixel C. Um, I've got a Pixel book. I am a Pixel fanboy for sure. When they announced these guys last, I think it was last November, uh, alongside the Pixel 4 and and the rest of that, um, those tools, what ended up happening was there was a little bit of a delay in the way of the release. So they mentioned it would be released in early uh, 2020, I guess. Now COVID happened and all of that, but they did manage to release the Pixel Buds in the US in March. That being said, only the United States received these and being in Canada, we had to wait just a little bit longer. It actually turned into quite a bit longer as they were only released about a month ago. So I received them, super pumped. Like I said, I posted it on Twitter, had a few people say that they were, you know, on the fence about to uh, to press the purchase button, but weren't sure yet. So that's why I'm doing this. I wanted to share this with you guys. Here are my impressions after spending a month with the, uh, the Pixel Buds. Now, don't get me wrong, first experience is phenomenal. You get them in this lovely box, right? So you uh, you pop this guy open, you get everything you'd expect in it. So you're going to get your um, extra, basically ear tips, um, a smaller and a larger one, the medium ones are in it. You get your charger, your um, USB-C to USB that you'd plug into a computer to a charging brick or whatever the case may be. So I pulled them out and I was really excited. You know, the case felt really nice. My girlfriend has the um, AirPods. It's a tiny bit bigger, but more, rect um, the AirPods box is a little bit more rectangular. This guy's a little bit rounder, feels super soft as well. The same material that you'll get on the back, for example, of the Pixel 4 XL, um, just kind of that smooth back, which is really, really nice. Um, the satisfying click that you get from popping them open and closed. Overall, it's really nice. You've got your charging port at the bottom. You've got a sync button here at the back as well. I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but you've got the sync button. With an actual Pixel phone, you pop this guy open and it automatically uh, opens up on your Pixel phone and says, hey, would you like to connect these? So beautiful, it works honestly the same way as Apple did. And that's really what I was hoping for with the Pixel Buds. I was essentially hoping for a Air, like an AirPod type experience, but for my Pixel. So we've got these, we pop them out. Um, again, they look very nice. They've got the little soft plastic on it. The tip works perfectly. You've got this little wing at the back that really allows it to secure nicely in your, um, in your ear. Pop them in, connect it like a breeze, listen to some music and uh, podcasts as well. Honestly, super impressed with the sound. Don't get me wrong, they're still uh, an earbud, but they sound just as good as a wired earbud. You don't get a ton of bass, but you get a lot of nice clear sound uh, and it beats having it on speakers or anything like that. So sound quality was excellent. The next thing I did, I called my girlfriend because for me, I spent a lot of time on the phone with my job and the fact that I could throw these in, not have to carry my phone in my pocket was a huge, huge thing. So I was really excited about that. Um, so called her and she said, you know what? Sound pretty good. There's a little bit of a faint buzzing in the background. Um, I figured it was a bad connection or, or something like that. So, hey, if she's telling me they sound good, I feel pretty good about it. So perfect. I've got my calls. I've got my music. Sounds great. I went outside to do a little bit of work in the backyard. Figured I'd throw these guys in, listen to some music and, uh, and was really happy about it because I didn't have to have my phone attached to me in any way, shape or form. So I left that on the counter inside. That was my first mistake. Now, granted, I'm going through, you know, a couple of walls, let's say. But I would say if I was more than like 15 feet away from these guys, I was starting to break up. So I wouldn't hear the music clearly. I wouldn't hear the podcast clearly. 
okay, you know what? 15 feet through like three walls. I get it. Maybe I'm asking too much of them. No big deal. I dropped the phone outside. I had no problem with it. So, all right, that's my first red flag, but it wasn't that big a deal. I figured I could live through it. So perfect. Now, next up, I'm thinking battery life. Well, they're advertising five hours of battery life, and I believe the case gives you another 24 hours. So no problem. I throw them in. I listen for a couple of hours, and you know what? Battery life's pretty good. I would say for music, I was getting between that four and five hours that they were talking about. I don't know that I spoke consistently on the phone for four or five hours in a day, but uh, based on like a little bit of math, it looked like I get about three or three and a half hours, probably closer to three and a half hours of talk time out of them. The beauty of it for me is I'm honestly popping them back into the case almost whenever I'm done with them. So a lot of the times they stay topped up. The case very easily can give you four or five full charges. But like I said, I'm constantly throwing them back in the case. So battery life was never a problem. You plug it into a USB or wireless charging is included, which I think is a great value. The only thing I think is kind of ironic is I grab these guys and I throw them onto my Pixel stand that I have next to my bed. It is a wireless charger that props phones up. Of course, because Google, these don't charge on the Pixel wireless charger, the Pixel stand. I've got another one next to my desk. It's one of the Samsung ones. It's just, it lays flat. I drop this guy on it. They charge no problem. So battery life was never an issue. I started making more and more calls. And I started to realize that I was still getting that hissing noise. It was really odd. I, I thought maybe it was the connection, maybe the phone, maybe the reception. So I tried inside, I tried outside, I tried different areas in the house, no matter what, I was still hearing the hissing. So I was getting a little irked and I decided to uh, say, you know what, maybe it's not the connection at all. Maybe it is the Pixel Buds finally. Maybe I go and I grab my phone, I flip over to the music and I turn the music down really low. And what I realized was the music was actually drowning the hissing out, but the hissing was there even when I was playing music or a podcast, just the volume was up a little bit higher, so it was covering it up. So that being said, I decided to do what anybody would do and Google the solution, right? So I went up on Google and I said, hey, you know what? I'm hearing some buzzing in the background of my uh, Pixel Buds. And I found out that it seems to be a pretty common occurrence. I was not the only one. I read quite a few posts on Reddit. I quite a few different articles and things online that people have been having that issue. And so I was obviously frustrated with them, um, decided, well, next step, I'm taking it to Google. I've recently, uh, you know, I had an issue with one of my Pixel phones. It was a defect. They swapped it out, no problem. So I thought it was super convenient. I go on and I jump into uh, Google's tech support chat. And I mentioned that, hey, you know what? I've got the Pixel Buds. When I'm listening to them, um, I'm getting a hissing in the background. They said, okay, sure thing. Pop onto your phone, check the firmware version. I know firmware version 296, I wanna say, which is the most recent. And they say, yeah, that's the most recent. You're still hearing hissing after the update. Yes, I'm still hearing hissing. Well, sounds like we're gonna to need to, uh, to return these. So I'll just go ahead and send you your information, uh, slap it on a box, send it back to us. So they didn't even try for a second to fix them. Didn't even bother trying to replace them, which I thought was interesting because when I had an issue with my Pixel phone, the first thing they did was said, no problem, we'll send you a replacement. So I'm starting to wonder if Google doesn't actually know that this is a common problem. I would have been interested in getting a replacement and trying at least one other set to see if that was an issue. They didn't give me the option. So I'm returning them. It is what it is. I am still torn. I think I will try to order another pair. I think I'll try and order another pair and see if that does make a difference. Maybe it is this version, this one specifically, maybe it was this production run that's having an issue. So I think I will order another one because I'm just such a big Pixel fanboy, um, honestly. Uh, I'll, not, I'll give them a go and I'll see how they play out. Like I said, honestly, these things are very nice. They fit in your ear really, really well. Gives you a good seal so you're not getting a ton of background noise. So I'm really happy with them if it wasn't for the freaking hissing noise in the background. So I'm gonna give them another go and uh, I'm gonna go from there. Option B, uh, Samsung did yesterday announce their new uh, Galaxy Buds Live, I believe they're called. So they have active noise canceling. So I might give those a run though the initial reviews are that the noise canceling doesn't do a whole lot. So I might just look at their Buds Plus. But if you guys have any other suggestions for great earbuds, that work well with Android phones, please throw them in the, the uh, comments below. I'm very curious to know if you have any other suggestions because I would love to, uh, to get a pair. Like I said, use them a ton for phone calls and to be able to do yard work and things like that and just pop them in and not have to worry uh, would be huge. So please do let me know. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video and this kind of perspective on these little guys here, please uh, like and subscribe. I am trying some different things for my channel, uh, trying different types of videos. I am super passionate about technology. So if you guys are telling me you're enjoying the chat about tech, please, please subscribe and let me know uh, in the comments below as well. If there's anything else you want me to cover, I'd be happy to uh, to chat about it. So keep me posted. You can always drop by my stream on Twitch. I typically stream on Tuesday, Thursdays and alternating Saturdays and Sundays. So feel free to pop in, ask me questions about these guys or any other tech and I will be happy to answer. I will throw all of that in the description below. And until next time, take care friends. Oh, what a lovely tea party.